Hi guys, Mamie here with OneJoyousSkip.com. Thanks so much for stopping by my channel. Today I'm going to be using the stamp set by W Plus 9 and it's called Garden Buddies. And I'm going to be creating a spring card and it's going to be a scene. Um, I wanted to try to get away from making some scene cards and do something else, but uh, I just recently got this stamp set in a recent haul video. I showed it and I really, really wanted to use it in the way that it was intended to be used in my opinion as a scene because it comes with so many different elements that you can use um it's just a really really great stamp set and these little guys are the cutest thing ever and so i'm doing a bunch of masking and so i thought uh you know i got a lot of uh, feedback on one of my extreme masking cards and so this is sort of the same where i'm doing a lot of um masking and repeat stamping and so the misty is really important, I think, to create this card because it allowed me to line up that fence perfectly so that I could go all the way across my scene. And I just drew a pencil line in underneath the scene so that I could put the fence right on top of that and keep it straight. So the set comes with um, some little grass that you can put underneath everybody's feet. And just look how cute this scene is coming together already. It comes with that little watering can, an empty pot, an empty pot that you can put other little um, garden varieties inside of, um, or like you can do what I'm going to do and leave it empty and kind of just dumped over because it's like they're all getting ready to start gardening and planting. And so I masked off that little pot so that I could put another pot behind it that the little boy is watering. And it's already got the flowers in there and everything. It also comes with a little bird uh, that I put right up there on the fence and it comes with a couple little butterflies a little shovel and a little um uh hoe I guess that's what that is I'm not really sure <laughs> and uh, I left the top parts of the shovel and the hoe off so that I could make it look like they were stuck into the ground and I put the little water coming out of the watering can and I put a little caterpillar down there as well so um I was inspired by Sandy Alnock, who creates her own um, her own images to encase her sentiments, and so I decided uh, I needed a sun in my background, and so I thought, well, I'll put the uh, sentiment inside of the sun. So I thought that was a really great idea, and it worked out really well because it says your friendship is like sunshine for the soul. So what would be better than putting it right there in the sun? And um, this card would have all came together perfectly if I had known that double stamping um, creates a little bit more wait time for your uh, images to dry and so whenever I colored the sun I smeared the ink and so I did have to remedy that by creating another sun and popping that up a little bit so it wasn't truly one layer um, but you can't really tell so it all came, turned out just fine. Um, I was upset when it happened and um, because, you know, it is quite a bit of work to mask an entire scene like this. And then I was mad at myself for kind of ruining it. And, no, and I thought I knew better and I thought that the ink would be dry, but it wasn't. So always make sure that your ink is nice and dry before you start coloring. And so I am doing very simple coloring and very simple shading here. I'm just using two, maybe three at the most colors. And so um, I put all of the caps to the top left there so you can see what colors that I'm using. And I did remember to do that for almost all of the colors. I think I missed one or two, but basically I remembered it for all of the colors. And so I'm going to leave you guys here for just a bit while I finish this coloring. And I will come back towards the end of the card to fill you in on some more details and to finish up the project.
Okay, and I am back to finish up the video now, and um, this coloring was really fun. Uh, as you can see in some of the coloring, my markers are going a little bit dry, and I do want to urge you guys that if your markers are dry, don't abuse them like I do. Make sure that you refill them because you will mess up the nibs if you try to color while they're going dry. So I just wanted to fill you guys in on that. Um, do as I say, not as I do. I had already committed to that color for the background before I knew that it was going dry, so I just promised myself as soon as I had finished coloring to put some tape over the cap so that I would not use it until um, I had refilled it. And so I added some white little highlights to the side of the guys. I don't know why I did that. Um, you know, it looks cute without it. I just couldn't leave well enough alone. You know how I am. Um, I don't know. Let me know how you guys like the white highlights if you feel like it makes a difference or not. But here are the um, still photos of the project and I really appreciate you guys stopping by. Make sure to subscribe and you can get all the details of the video below in the description box and I will see you in the next video.